Hello there. Oh, there we go. Hello there, guys. <laughs> it's time for another Adafruit unboxing. I'm so excited. Also, you can see here, I built myself a stream deck with a cutie pie. It's awesome. This is to um, start recording. This is to pause. I have the um, source code on GitHub, and I'll try to remember to put the link in the video below. But first off, let's do what we're here to do. Let's unbox this Ada box. First, I can slide this over. I want to read the little description. This looks really cool. Look at this. I'm going to guess it's a superhero theme. Let's see. Adabox 18. There's no place like home. Okay, so it's not so much superhero as it is um, the Wizard of Oz. There's no place like home. And if you're like us, you spent a lot of time at home over the past year. It almost feels like Whirlwind picked us up and flew us to a strange world. We've had to adapt to all these new customs when we really want to return to how life used to be. And maybe, slowly, we're starting to make our way back. Until that day, we can stay at home and tinker with electronics. This Ada box is all about home projects with, Funhouse de with the Funhouse Development Board. It's powered with an ESP32S2 Wi-Fi chip that can run CircuitPython or Arduino. So it's easy to make internet connected sensors and sensors are plentiful in this box with lots of home automation friendly sensor modules you can plug right into the Funhouse. Whether it's tracking the environmental temperature and humidity in your laundry room, or notifying you when someone's detected in the kitchen, to sensing when a window was left open, or logging when your cat leaves through the pet door, this Ada box is designed to make it easy to make Wi-Fi connected home automation projects. A huge thank you to DigiKey for going above and beyond to help support Adafruit over the last year. DigiKey support makes made this box possible. Check out the millions of sensors and devices they have stocked at digikey.com so you can automate your home. So this is one of the things I've been guessing. I was guessing that this Ada box was either going to be the home or that it was going to be the um, their new keyboard. Um, uh, they've got a little keyboard thing that works with the uh, Raspberry Pi uh, 240 that came out recently. That looks amazing. I want to replace the stream deck with one of those. I think it's going to look and behave amazingly. Um, so I could go either way now. Um, if you only watch these videos and you don't go to my blog, you might not know that I'm really into home automation. Um, but I've got all kinds of things tracked via home, uh, home assistant. Uh, for example, I've got, um, the temperature in this room, um, the temperature in my bedroom, actually my uh, bathroom, which is connected to my, my bedroom and each of the kids' rooms so that I could see if there's adjustments that need to be made and which rooms are coming out hotter or colder than the others. Um, I've also uh, built a Raspberry Pi based project that tells me whether my garage door is left open because that's something that I tend to do. So uh, I tell it to let me know if it's open and closed and to let me know if it's open after sunset. Excuse me, I'm gonna take a drink of my tea because I'm having horrible allergies today, which you might be able to hear in the congestion in my voice. Much better. Okay, so let's see. Oh, <coughs> uh, you know what? I will open this first and then read what's in it. So let's switch to our box mode here. Excellent, excellent. So here's our Ada box right on there. There we go. Put that to the side. I'm excited about this project. As always, the lovely wrapping paper they use inside that makes it feel like a gourmet. Gourmet obviously being food, but at a first class situation. Ooh, Legos. All right, so we've got the fun house. And it says, home automation made easy with litter, oops, with little or no soldering, comes with light, pressure, humidity, and temperature sensors. Three JST plugs, allow for quick connection of stemmer boards that use digital or analog IO and a stemma QT port for any I2C devices. So this is kind of exciting. Um, I, I usually end up buying a whole bunch of sensors to do something similar. Let's see. 
but this is super, super neat. It's even got a screen and everything, which the only um, home animation thing I've got with a screen is my Raspberry Pi, um, the one that is, the one that's in the in the bedroom running the Enviro Pi. Uh, so this is really neat. They've got the ports marked here. You can see, come on, darn thing, focus, focus. It's not meant to close focus, I guess. But uh, we've got I2C on the top and then AO uh, or A0, A1, and A2. Excellent. Um, here you've got humidity, barometer, and temperature. There's little birds all around. Fun house. TV, TV, fun house. TV, fun house. Hello. What are you doing? Doing an un unboxing of my new Ada box. Oh. Would you like to be in my unboxing? Sure. Okay. <coughs> Through the magic of pause and unpause, Scarlet has appeared. <laughs> Magical. Oh, a wild Scarlet has appeared. <laughs> All right, so we'll just put that away. That is exciting. I'm trying to think about where I'm going to put it based on what I've already got going on in the house with my whole animation. And I'll actually, I will go ahead and in the video when I was talking about the sensors, I'll probably put a little edit something in there so you can see. So let's take a look here. And uh, so far of the Ada boxes, the most uh, fun and useful one I've had has been the one that came with the magnetic, um, the uh, e-paper. I have it showing temperatures for the week uh, for the kids. And so the twins are able to use it to learn about weather. All right, so. What are the Legos for? I don't know, let's find out. All right, so here is an acrylic backplate kit. So this clear backplate attaches to the fun house to make wall mounting easy. Include some M3 screws to attach with. I'm gonna pause again for a second. Excellent. That would save me on some, um, I'll probably end up using the, the, uh, shoot, I forget who makes it, uh, the, the M, gosh, I forget what it's called, but the little sticky nails rather than driving nails or screws into my walls, but that's really exciting. All right, um, what else have we got here? Let's see. Ooh, I know these. I've got one of these over here on this robot that I'm making with Stella. They're brothers. That's like a cute bot, right? So, yep. So this is an infrared uh, beam sensor. It can detect when something's between the emitter and up to 10 inches apart. So I could use this to see if someone's coming to the room or something like that. Mm. Okay. We've got a mini, let me see. Ooh, a magnetic door sensor. I'm not sure which one that is. I'm going to, oh, it's probably this one. This looks like a door sensor you would have with a security home home security kit, like a mini version of what I've got in the garage to know if the garage door is open. So it might be that. Let's see. We looked at this already. Okay. Um, let's see. What about this? Hold on. What's this in here? This one is a PIR sensor to detect motion. I bet that's this. It's a little globe in here. Um, but it could be wrong. Let's see. What else have we got? Whoa, we've got this. Oh, we've got a water sensor. Keep wet things wet and dry things dry by detecting when dry things get wet by accident. Whoa. Oh, yes. This is the water sensor. That's so cool. Excellent. I know where I'm going to put this. I'm going to put this together with, um, the fun house in, uh, to detect, uh, if, if the washing machine ever leaks. So I'll know right away if it leaks. That's pretty incre incredible. Okay. Technology's amazing nowadays. Yep, we've got... It's rainbow string. Yeah, we've got socket cables. No, wait. Uh, they meant these, I think. Uh, let's see, these are extensions. I think these are the socket cables. We've got quick wire connects. So we've got a bunch of things going on here. Um, the really fancy. Then we've got, oh, okay. 
the Legos are to make a uh, a desk stand if I need one. Whoa, that's cool. And then they've given us a year free of Adafruit IO, which is pretty cool. What's the desk stand? Like the whole pattern and stuff? Yeah, that probably, see this probably, oh, no, no, no. Clips. This, I bet these clips will plug into the Legos and then it would hold this standing up. And this is another clutch. Yeah, I'm guessing that's what that is. I'm not entirely sure. And we've got a couple of stickies here. Excellent. Well, I can't, I can't wait to go to the website to see um, exactly uh, what everything is. Yeah, yeah, I looked at that one. So, so yeah, I will let you guys know what I make eventually. It looks like a house. Yeah, it is. Got a fun house. All right. Well, thanks for watching this unboxing. Happy creating. Adafruit, don't pop those. You need to protect this. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.